Heath Hounds. Welcome back to Heath Hounds, episode 75, and there is no bigger night in the year um, than the Melbourne Cup night. Eight of the best dogs in the race where um, dreams are turned into reality and um, there is just no bigger night on any, on any calendar card. Um, and there's plenty of other good races surrounding it as well, including the Group 1 Bowl Trace, the John Dillian um, over the 600, um, and so plenty of winners to be found among the 12 race cards. So let's get into it. Race 1, I've gone with Box 6, Panadera Warrior. Has been going really well, drawn the middle of the track where he wants to be. Great early speed, can reel off some classy sectionals. Um, to not only where it will be to cross, um, but with not much pace and the four wanting the rail, um, I think he can um, probably lob behind it um, and he'll prove much stronger. So for race one, I've gone with box six, Panadera Warrior. Race two is a tough race to read, um, with most only having the two starts, barely any early pace from what we've seen so far. So whoever lands in front um, will be going well. And I've gone with box two, Secede, um, drawn the fence, should beat the one and the three out. To get a clear run at this um, will be hard to run down in race two. Race three for me, it was between boxes one, two, and three. All great chances um, and drawn where they need to be. The red is great early pace um, and will be out and in front. The two can begin well and is is strong enough to run down the red. Um, and the three, he's enorm- is an enormous talent, um, but just still learning how to race and um, just needs a little bit of luck. But he'll be ready to pounce if anything was to happen. So I've gone with the red, happy to be on the leader. Um, he was super last week, gets better draw, um, but I would be basing the my exotics around these three running top two. Race four, both one and three are good each way chances here with the red being um, strong, awesome lead from Brandon Purcell, great um, trainer in form. And um, look, I've gone with him on top. I just think his Geelong win um, from a wide draw was really good. My only worry is first look at the track, um, but he's drawn the red. He's drawn where he wants to be. So uh, I'm happy to go him each way in race four. Race five, the Cup Night Stayers, and I've gone with Box Two Tsar Bell. Um, he was super unlucky last week when he found trouble. Looks to be the one, uh, one of the better ones early in the race, and um, with question marks over Mapunga Ruby, um, if he sits second with a clear run, I think he will run her down comfortably. So for race five, I've gone with Box Two Tsar Bell. Race six, a good value race here with Kelsey Bale and Kaziah drawn in box six and seven, respectively. Uh, box eight, Photo Man's class dog of the field. Veda Bale clearly leads this for me. Um, has great early pace and will be wanting the fence. Quinlan Bale can release some serious sections. Um, and he's no slouch, ran a huge race last week. So if he gets clear running, he's no slouch from box four. Um, I think he's worth an each way play. But I think having the saver on Frodo Man from the wide draw, he was able to win a group one from the draw out in the pink at the Meadows. Um, and I think if he, I think he can replicate that run again here. So I've gone with a four each way, but with a saver on the eight in race six. Race 7, I've gone with box 1, Jarek Bale. Doesn't miss a beat off the red. Loves the sand down 595. Was super at Ballarat. His, uh, his only rivals here will be Dookie Devil and Aston Velvet. Dookie Devil did pull up with an injury from his last start. So questionable how he'll return. Um, and Aston Velvet, well, she's been going well. But I just think the draw has Jarek Bale out on top in race 7. Race 8, the... Br- Group 1, Bold Trees, and I've gone with Box 5, Corborn Magic. It was huge first look at the track last week. Um, we'll get a nice run into the race with Lakeview Patsy drawn in Box 4, and it's inside. Um, if it can sit outside of Lakeview Patsy, um, well, I think it improves on next uh, in last week's run. Um, it will be much stronger, so I think um, any improvement, um, we'll see it winning and um, just putting it out of reach for more Moraine Susie to catch. So for race 8, the Group 1, Bold Trees, I've gone with Box 5, Corborn Magic. Race 9, the match race, and who would have thought, well, yeah, she's fast, would be a $2.50 chance in a match race. If anyone said that to you a couple months ago that you'd 
slap him and say him that they're silly. But um, no, she's just out of form at the moment. Um, Amron Boys, this is his bread and butter. Um, two dogs where he doesn't need luck in running. Um, he's in great form and will probably beat while she's fast down in front. And um, I don't think he'll be for catching in race nine in the gr- in the Cup Night match race. Race 10, the Group 1 Melbourne Cup, and I've gone with Box 1 Plaintiff. Um, does his best work at Sandown, almost a perfect record at Sandown. Has a perfect record off the draw. Um, has He's just drawn to lead, and um, he'll run those 29.30s, and that will be um, winnable time for him. Um, trained by Jason Thompson, who's no stranger to a Melbourne Cup, and um, I just think everything points to him. I just think most of the others are probably going to make have to make their own luck or um, going to need a bit of luck in their run. So I've gone with race 10, Brute Run, Melbourne Cup, Box 1, Plaintiff. Race 11, the penultimate race of the card. And I've gone with... Um, I've gone with box four, extreme jewel here. Box two, Vale um, has its draw, just needs a clear run, um, but it will be powering along the rail. But for me, extreme jewel and chick um, are the ones to be looking at for me. Chick clearly has the best early speed, um, but the wide draw can uh, can undo a lot of dogs over the bend start over the 595. So gone with extreme jewel in the middle. Um, second best, best beginner to chick and um, I think if it lands anywhere near the front, it will be extremely hard to beat. It is dropping down from 700, so it does have the strength on its side. So um, if it lands close, it will be very hard to beat. And last but not least, race 12, I've gone with box 6, Eleanor Rigby. Um, we'll probably lead this field. Um, will just be a matter of how long um, with... A few strong runners in this race, like Levart's Bale um, and Ride the Thunder, who are both terrible, uh, great talents, um, but just will be getting back in their runs and will be needing a bit of luck. So happy to be on the lead each way in the final race um, for a bit of value there in race 12. So I've gone with race 12, box 6. That's it, the Group 1 Melbourne Cup night. There's no bigger night on the card, on the calendar. Um, Best of luck and hopefully we can tip a few winners.